This mat is used to develop an understanding that equivalent fractions are two ways to describe the same amount by using different size fractional parts. Let's begin the use of the equivalence mat by linking the models with both levels of the equation. After linking both levels, let's hide the equations so the models are showing. Circle or pie models or the vertical bars will work best, so we'll use the vertical bars for this demonstration. We'll set the models to each show fifths and shade two of the fifths in each of the models. For those of you familiar with models in these series, you know that the slider changes the number of parts in the whole and that the arrows change the number of shaded parts. All the models are now equal. In the middle model, move the slider up and notice that the part indicator shows six sevenths, eighths, ninths, and does not change until it reaches 10, as 4 tenths is equivalent to 2 fifths. Click on the 2 fifths bar and drag it over to the 4 tenths to confirm the equality. If you are working with students, have them predict the third equivalent fraction. Predict the denominator, the numerator. Counting by fives is one of the strategies to get the denominator. Counting by twos gets the numerator. Now show the third equivalent model by moving the third fraction slider quickly up to tenths, and then move more slowly, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Drag the third fraction bar over to the middle fraction bar to show that they are the same. 2 fifths equals 4 tenths equals 6 fifteenths. Ask students how many fives there are in 10. How many twos are in 4? Ask students how many fives there are in 15? How many twos are in six? Ask students what happens when any number is multiplied by one. Have them give examples of fractions that have a value of one. You should be getting answers like two over two, two halves, three thirds, or the inventive student will give you 50 fiftieths, or the like. If the first level of the mat shows the models, the second level shows the fractions multiplied by ones. Reveal this level, have students discuss what they see. Are the signs correct? Have students predict the fraction values for the third level of the mat. Reveal the third level. This mat was used to demonstrate the equivalence of three fractions starting with the models and moving to the representation of models in number sentences. Practice with other strategies to give students different representations of equivalence using the mat by changing the levels that show the linkages. At the end, you may even choose to use the mat with only the equations and no model showing.